Okay, so digital or, or AI natives or AI first adopters, whatever we want to call them, right? I think we've said so far, first characteristic is they use AI for virtually everything. I almost default to, I'm going to use AI for this. And then the second big thing we talked about is they they put, they recognize the effort that they have to put in using it. It's not just a casual, I'll just wing something off and hope that AI figures it out. They're they're working at it. They're They're doing the integration across different tools. They're creating detailed prompts. Um, they're intentional and, and they put effort into it. Um, what, a, anything else, I mean, that, that, that you think sort of sets apart those AI first uh, people from the average, more casual user of AI today? I think those are the big ones. I mean, you know, yeah. I guess if you look, those are the obvious, I think, qualities, you know, th being able to think things out, but, are there are there are there certain types of individuals that are more prone to that than others? Yes. Um, yes. You know, and that's the question. Hundred percent. I, I think so I, because I think the other the yeah. other maybe characteristic I would argue of, of these people is they are insanely curious and they're willing to experiment because what worked today isn't necessarily going to work tomorrow, and you have to be flexible and you have to be willing to experiment. If you just want a tool that you know what it's going to do every time, um, we're not there yet. But if you're willing to do some experimentation and critical thinking, then you might be in luck. Right. So. No, 100% agree with you. And I think, you know, I, I, it's funny because engineers tend to be in the bleeding edge of a lot of these things. They're willing to sacrifice. They're willing to accept the fault with the, with the tool. And but they also understand where you know the capabilities lie and how they can get the most out of it. So I think naturally engineers have kind of gone in this direction, especially software developers, embrace a lot of these tools. Um, but I think you're right that that natural curiosity um, yeah. goes a long way. I also think it takes a lot of out of the box thinking. And it's like I look, when you look at a problem, like I look at a problem now, and it took a while for me to just kind of rejig my brain to think this way. When I look at a problem, it's not necessarily how do I solve it. I mean, yes, it is very often how do I solve it. How do I solve it better with AI? And I look at it that way. So it's right. a kind of a step before it. It's like, okay, fine. How can I solve this with AI instead before I just go off and solve it my traditional way? 